Here are some tips we found useful with the DS2000 telescopes. The first tip is train your drive. This is a very important topic and we recommend you train your drive before you align your telescope for the first time. Train your drive during the daytime. It's a lot easier than training it at night. During the train the drive procedure, the telescope moves off an object you've centered in the eyepiece and you're asked to recenter the object using the arrow key. When the telescope moves, the object may no longer be in the view of the eyepiece. Just be patient and keep looking through the eyepiece while you're holding the arrow key down. The object will appear again eventually. The second tip is about how Autostar moves the telescope to celestial objects. When the telescope automatically moves to an object, whether it's to an alignment star or to a go-to object, it'll move very quickly at first. Then the telescope will fine-tune its movement and begin to move very slowly. So slow, in fact, that you think that it's not even moving. Hang on. While it is moving, don't press the enter key. When it finishes moving, it will beep. And after it beeps, Autostar will display a message prompting you to press the enter key. Here's a tip for DS2000 reflector users. A common error that beginners make with reflector models is to mount the optical tube backwards. To mount the tube correctly, first note the orientation of the mounting arm as shown here. Next, place the tube into the cradle so that the eyepiece holder is over the computer control panel. Tighten the cradle over the tube. Then continue with the assembly as covered earlier in this video. To clarify further, the open end is the front of the tube. The closed end is the rear of the tube. As mentioned elsewhere in this video, do not remove the velvet pad or loosen any of the six screws on the rear surface. You may have noticed that we keep suggesting that you try out the operations of your telescope during the daytime before you try it out at night. You'll find out it's a lot easier to become familiar with DS2000 telescopes in the light than it is in the dark. Oh, and did we mention, go out and have a great time. <music>